me a favor, uh, buy this stuff wherever they sell it, okay? And it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, Nesman News, in just a minute. Uh, the doctor's out of here for the weekend. You have a good one, babies. And in the meantime, here's the monotones from 1958. I wonder, wonder. Paula, I'm back. Yeah, uh, uh, do me a favor, say it to me one more time. <laughs> oh, that's a great surprise. It's not the surprise? Listen, it'll do, okay? Paula, you've made me very, very happy. Yeah, I, I gotta run now. Uh, listen, thanks a lot and goodbye. And I love you, okay? And I love you, Mr. Phone. And I love you, Mr. Consul. And even KRP right now, I love Cincinnati. I love life. Got another girl in trouble, John? <laughs> <laughs> Not really, Les. Uh, my ex-wife is getting married. Which one? Number one. You remember my daughter, Lori? Her mom. After 12 years, I am free at last. I thought you were already divorced. Well, we are. I'm talking about alimony, Les. But my first wife doesn't gouge out of my paycheck. My second wife scrapes off. <laughs> I live on the residue. Well, John, if you just must dance, you have to pay the piper. Yeah, but she's getting remarried. To whom? I don't know. Uh, maybe she caught Darth Vader in a vulnerable moment. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. Mr. and Mrs. Hitler? Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here, man. I said no to a vacation, and now I got the money. Are you sure she's getting married? Les, she just told me she was. I don't know this woman personally, John, but from what you've told me in the past, coupled with my intuitive newsman's instincts, I think she's gone completely insane. Les. Or perhaps you've already driven her mad and she's planning on killing someone. If she was gonna kill someone, she'd start with me. Precisely. It could be a setup. Remember where you heard it first, John. <laughs> Nesman, I'm not buying into your paranoid theories, okay? I'm gonna go talk to Carlson. Be careful, John. What? It's a long walk from here to Carlson's office. <laughs> a lot of things can happen. Oh. Ah! Baby, if you've ever wondered, wondered whatever became of me, I'm living on the air in Cincinnati. Cincinnati, WKR. In a while, I'm at WKRP in Cincinnati. Bailey, 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 I'm sorry you startled me. How's your cold? A little better. Uh-huh. Where, where are you going on vacation? Well, I'm not sure. Why? Well, uh, if you play your cards right, it could be a vacation for two. What are you suggesting, Fever? I am suggesting palm trees swaying in the offshore trade wind. Mm. The hue and cry of exotic birds wheeling across an azure sky. I'm suggesting bronzed, supple flesh, pungent odors, <laughs> sensuous rhythms in a tropical paradise. In short, Adam and Eve on excursion rates. Alone? Together? Hopefully. Separate bedrooms? Details, details. We can work this out. Where? Jamaica, island of homegrown fun. Well, this is all so sudden, I'll have to think about it. Act now, don't delay, offer limited. Am I paying for this? Details, details. <laughs> well, when will you be back? Well, I don't know, but it won't be long. You know, you know I take my work seriously. Well, I got plans too, man. You gave me no notice. Well, I'm sorry, but it's a matter of life and death. Jeez, I suppose I can cancel, man, but what am I supposed to do until four? Yes, you just relax and pretend you know what you're doing. Believe me, no one will know the difference. Wait a minute. Uh, Jennifer, is Carlson busy? Busy? Oh, he's with Herb. Travis, I need your help with Carlson. Johnny, talk to Venus. I gotta go. Where are you going? Well, it's a long story involving a promo rep who's having some trouble. Look, I'm late already. I'll explain later. You're not back in four hours, I'm going all Christmas music. Think about it, I mean it. <laughs> Promo rep? Apparently, she's new in town and new on the job and very nervous. At least that's what Andy said. 
I suppose she's young. Uh-huh. Good looking. Uh-huh. Andy said he thought if he could help her to relax and feel better, it would score points for the station. Oh. <laughs> Listen, Trap, I need your help, man. I told Carlson last week I didn't want a vacation. Now I want one starting Monday. I can't lend you any money, John. I've got the money. I need the vacation. Now, are you going to back me up on this against Carlson? Where were you when Chicago Watson Selma was going down, huh? <laughs> Trap! I wanted to be there, man. I couldn't get connecting flights. You make money, I make money, and no one knows the difference. Uh, AC, you got a minute? Sure. Uh, uh, sorry to bother you. Uh, I know I told you last week that I couldn't afford a vacation, and you graciously agreed, and I appreciate your concern for my continued well-being, and with that in mind, I'd like to leave Monday, if it's okay with you. You know, I think this is a matter that you probably ought to take up with Travis. Travis isn't here. Where is he? Out of the station on business. Business? Oh, well, what if some uh, major decision has to be made? What then? On well, target, big guy. Yeah, what then? Hey, see, when Travis is gone, I'm acting PD. Oh, right, good. Okay, what do you think, Venus? <clears throat> well, I thought this thing through thoroughly. Hey, who's kidding who? I've lost a lot of sleep over it. <laughs> Fever here hasn't had a vacation in five years. I think he should take it. Okay. That's a good decision. <laughs> I agree. All right. Go ahead, Fever. Take off. It's okay with us. Yeah, I gotta make travel plans and fast. Oh, oh, hey, John. Who's your travel agent? Travel agent, Tarlick? I don't need one. <laughs> Come on. Get in the 80s. Everyone needs a travel agent. <laughs> Look, think seven words. No. Think nine words. Jimmy the Gent Tartaglianos, Bon Voyage, House of Travel. I don't know, Herb. It's a trade-out, John. You're going to save 30%. Ha! <laughs> Who am I kidding? 40% over booking it yourself. 40%? Yes, sir. Okay, do it. All right. How, when, and where? Uh, Monday, Jamaica, Lodestone of the Caribbean. Oh, geez, John. Uh... It's Friday. I don't know. I'll, I'll do the best I can, but you better give me a backup. Uh, second choice. Anything that's south of here and sounds exotic, isolated, and untouched. Consider it done. Okay. And Herb? Yeah. You better make it two tickets, okay? Two tickets? Check. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll get that replacement. I think Andy's got to listen to his office. Thanks a lot, man. Hey, Mr. Carlson, I, I know this is really short notice. Thanks. Sure. John, there's a Mr. Buddy Gravers here to see you. Jenny. Jennifer. Jennifer. Johnny. Buddy. Johnny. Buddy. <laughs> buddy, uh, Arthur. Arthur. Buddy. <laughs> buddy. Artie. Oh. <clears throat> well, uh, <laughs> what, what, what brought you here? Uh, my Learjet. I'm a charter pilot. Have my own company. His own company. <laughs> ah, many planes, large and small. Huh. Okay, what, uh, what can we do for you? Get to know me. <laughs> huh? Get to know me! Look, I was flying a client in, and Paula decided to surprise you and fly in with me. Paula? Your ex, my bride-to-be! <laughs> Buddy! Johnny! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you two have got a lot to, you know, talk about. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've certainly got a lot of work to do today, <laughs> so I'll I'll, uh, I'll be in my office uh, if you need me, John. <laughs> Well, guy. Well, welcome to WKRP. Thanks, John. <laughs> Sit down. Can I get you a drink? I know I could use one. Oh, maybe later, perhaps. She told me a lot about you, John. Where is Paula, anyway? Paula who? <laughs> Humor. I was, uh, I was doing some business with a company. She got tired of waiting, so I gave her a charge card and sent her forth. <laughs> I was supposed to meet her in an hour. Right here. Well, where the heck is she? <laughs> Surprise, Paula's late. <laughs> Actually, I'm early. Yeah. Well, uh, what do you want to do? You want to take a little tour of the station? What I'd like to do is take a tour of that receptionist, you know. <laughs> Jennifer? 
Is that twin engine on the firing line or what? Well, not exactly. Hey, hey, okay, I get it. Signs out, hands off, no touching the looky. <laughs> yeah, it's just that Don't Jennifer... explain! We're both men of the world. We can't help it if these beautiful women keep throwing themselves at us, huh? <laughs> well, no, it's just if you're gonna marry a woman like Paula. You straighten up and fly right. Listen, I may be stupid, but I'm no amateur. And I've been married before. Of course, those two didn't work longer than six months. <laughs> this is different. I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. John, I love Paula very much. I know she's crazy about me. No offense. No. I know that I'm one heck of a lucky guy. Let's go buzz that blonde. Well, buddy. <laughs> hey, Alex, there's no harm in looking, eh? Come on. Old habits die hard. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, darling. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Hi, John. Surprised. Stunned. <laughs> hey, I missed you, baby. Oh, you got here early. <laughs> right. I was going through the pre-flight, and then I said, what the heck, this baby was going to fly anyway, so I just dropped my gear and came on in. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> sorry if I'm late. You're not late. Oh, I, well, I just hope you weren't bored. No, no. I think Buddy has a good time wherever he is. <laughs> oh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. How's Laurie? Uh, oh, fine. She's still in school. She told me that in the last letter. She did? Yeah, a couple of weeks ago. I have it at home. Oh, nice. Excuse me. Hey, little lady, no, you be in a hurry to get out of here. Just a second. Paula, did you know that Jennifer and John were sweet tarts? Uh, no. I'm afraid there's been some mistake. Oh, not if you haven't married him yet. <laughs> some lunch? Well, I'm hungry. Why don't the four of us go chow down someplace together? Get to know me better. I'm afraid chowing down would be quite impossible. Hey, look, we're only going to be in town for the day. You two have got a lot to talk about, I know. John and I are hitting it off real great. Let's get acquainted. Who knows, maybe this time next year we'll jump into one of my planes, sky off to Niagara Falls for a little vacation. Let's get it started. Uh, Johnny. Ah, uh, please, darling. It'll be fun. It really does sound intriguing, but I'm afraid I can't leave my desk. Oh, I'll cover for you. <laughs> Thank you, Bailey. It's settled. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Uh, Johnny, I was thinking, um, is your offer still on for Jamaica? I wish we were in the air right now. Oh. Her too? <laughs> you sly sucker! Well, here we are. Yeah, I always felt the same way. <laughs> this is your favorite restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> They, they do their really big business at night. Oh, yeah. Should we just sit? Sure. Uh, how about here? Looks like a table to me. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? There's a chair for each of us. <laughs> I think they're closed. It kind of makes us guilty of breaking an entry, John. <laughs> <laughs> break. <laughs> break. Uh, four chairs. <laughs> so, you two are getting married. Oh, I'll bet you booty. <laughs> I think it's great because the worst thing about not being married is the loneliness. Yeah. Right, Jennifer? Loneliness? <laughs> yes. It's the loneliness. You're lonely? <laughs> well, I'm with her most of the time. Yes, I'm lonely. <laughs> uh, what, what, what about kids? Uh, you think about having kids? Oh. Each <gasps> kissy. Uh, it's okay, we're customers. <laughs> you must be Abdul's wife. I I'm Johnny, I come here often. Johnny, I come here often at night. Uh, Abdul speaks fluent English. I guess he's not here in the daytime. Um, why don't we start with something special? Uh, champagne? Good. Sounds good. Fine. 
Uh, cold champagne, champagne, champagne. Uh, cold champagne. Oh! Man speaks a language. <laughs> well, where were we? Uh, we were talking about you and Jennifer. Yeah. Let's talk about you and Buddy. Uh, how did you meet? I'm curious about that. Well, actually, we met in a supermarket. <laughs> Funny thing, we were reaching for the same bag of Oreo cookies. <laughs> we just kinda, I know you get a kick out of that because she <laughs> said you can never get into bed without your bag of Oreo cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Does he still do that? Yeah. <laughs> Why, yes, he does. <laughs> You know, I think I better get back to the station. <laughs> Does he still do that me, Tarzan, you, Jane routine? <laughs> you wore costumes? Well, I lost my loincloth years ago. <laughs> and I, I guess you should be getting back. Why? Yeah. Our monkey's been ill. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh, here. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. You're a heck of a lucky guy, John. Oh, I think you're the lucky guy here, buddy. <laughs> right, Paula? Hey, let's face it, all four of us are lucky. Yeah. Look, let's the four of us later go on out and paint Cincinnati red. Come on, we'll burn this town to the ground. They'll never know what hit them. <laughs> honey, yeah. honey, huh? oh, before we make any plans, I just have one request. Well, sure, Shuggy. Well, well, I'd like a few moments alone with Johnny. Well, sure, baby. Hmm. I'll see you back at the hotel. Okay. You take mm -hmm. Thanks, yeah. lover. Mm -hmm. John. Buddy. <laughs> ah! Yeah. Hey, come here! <laughs> hey, you! Looking forward to spending a lot more time with you next time, bud. Hey, and uh, say goodbye to Jennifer for me. And listen, you have a nice time in Jamaica. <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> buddy. Good luck, buddy. Well, uh, gee, I don't know what to say, Paul. I mean, he, he, he is one hell of a guy. Yes, he is. Now, Jennifer seems nice. Is it serious? No. Why bring her along then? Well, I just thought you might enjoy meeting some people I hardly know. I'm basically lonely. Being single is tough. You're telling me. I'm sorry. Well, they left just in time. More for us. Here's that champagne. Uh, they'll just be the two of us. Just two. Special. Thank you. Well, uh, here's to you. <laughs> and here's to Buddy. Here's to marriage. Why are you pitching this marriage so hard? You really like him? Buddy, he's great. Oh, you wouldn't care if I were marrying Hitler, would you? <laughs> Come on. You want to get out of the alimony. How can you say that? Tell the truth. I am telling the truth. Now, he's been uh, married before. Great, it seems to agree he, with him. He uh, looks at other women. Well, everybody does. Well, he's killed some people. How many? You can't be straight with me, can you? No, it takes too much practice. You're jealous, aren't you? Jealous of Buddy? Yes. So I can see it in your face. He's made something of himself. He built that charter service from scratch. He loves me. He loves Lori. He wants to marry me. Admit it. It bothers you. That's not what bothers me about Buddy. What does? Well, he's goofy. <laughs> he, he's goofy? You got some nerve? After 12 years of being a responsible single parent, I need a lot of goofy. And he makes me laugh. Look, Paula, I, I like the guy. I, I don't know if it'll work or not. You're the one who's taking the chance. I just don't want to see you make the same mistake with him that you made with me. You don't like him, do you? I'm not talking about Buddy. I'm talking about you. What you want, what you deserve. 
Paula, you're an incredible, extraordinary woman. You've got a great mind and great legs. And... Well, I don't think you should marry somebody just because they want to marry you. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I am right. Maybe we should just live together. Well, maybe you should. See how it goes. You'd still have to pay alimony. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm seriously confused. Yeah, I am too, Cookie. I... I don't know what you want. I'm trying to give you the straightest advice I can. I don't want advice from you. Well, what do you want? Well, I'll tell you what I don't want. I don't want to see my former husband drooling over the prospect of my remarrying. Uh, why didn't you just say so? Well, I didn't know it until now. Well, I guess I'd like you to feel a little sad. I am a little sad. He's great in bed. I said I'm sad. <laughs> I am too. So here we are, sad in Cincinnati. <laughs> well, I wanted you and Buddy to meet. And I needed to know it was over between us. It's over. I know. Glad we saw each other. Walk you back to the hotel? No. Finish your champagne. <laughs> but I better go, buddy gets a little goofy if he's left alone for a while. <laughs> I'll bet. Johnny, I am gonna marry him. Congratulations. You gotta hang out for a couple of days, have a little fling before you tie the knot. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you for that. Goodbye. Thank you. For what? For... Lori. You did raise our daughter yourself. I wasn't there. I chose not to be there. You did the job of two people, and you did it very well. I'm proud of her, and I'm, I'm really proud of you. Do you? Sweetheart, why don't you bring me another one of these? Make it a double. If this is your idea of a second choice, prepare to die. Oh, are these the tickets? Uh, yes and no. Oh, Johnny. Oh, if this is your idea of a dream vacation for two, you are a very silly boy. Yeah, uh, Bailey, it's not too late. We can change the tickets. We can go somewhere else. Well, you certainly can, but for me, I'm going home to my folks. Well, what am I supposed to do with the extra oh. ticket? Ooh, Nebraska. <laughs> to go to Omaha. It's one of our nation's leading pork packing centers. The train there is so level, so flat, so relaxing. I've often fantasized about going there. It would be like a dream come true. Oh, take me, John, take me. 